welcome back to Tuesday Tips and Tricks. Um, today we are going to show you how to fix your candles whenever you get like little cracks or craters like this. Um, if you don't have any wax to do a second pour. So all we're going to need um, is your candles obviously and a heat gun of your choice. You can get these at any craft store, Amazon, Walmart, um, just wherever you can find it. Uh, so we're going to start with just one candle. And as you can see, I've left the wick untrimmed. Um, honestly, this is the best way to do it, just so you can make sure that the candle, or I'm sorry, the wick does not get off center. Um, so all we're gonna do is just take the heat gun, um, turn it on a low setting until uh, the wax melts and fills in that little crater there. You want to kind of pull the wick to the side like I'm doing. Don't worry, like I said, if it does kind of get off centered, we've got it long enough so that we can recenter it uh, before the wax sets back up. Okay, so the wax on the top layer is melted. Can't really see it on the camera here, but that little hole has uh, filled back in with wel uh, melted wax. So now I'm just gonna take my wick bar here and put it back on top of the candle just so that uh, wick stays centered as the wax cools. And then we'll go ahead and work on these others that I have. Same thing here, you can see that that hole is now filled in. And we're just gonna let these cool and we'll come back at the end and show you how good the tops look once the wax cools. Okay, so we have melted the tops of our candles with the heat gun and let them cool. So now I'm just gonna take the wick bars off and I'll show you how nice the top of the candles look. <clears throat> so as you can see they are perfectly smooth on top there's no little hole or anything by the wick. Same for the blue candles it's pretty much seamless. So now we're just gonna trim the wicks and we will be good to go.